Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. Uh, for this installment, the tarot cards I'm using are the Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti. Is it Chiro? Yep. And then text by Barbara Moore. Uh, where is the website? Is it at the bottom? Yeah. Social media links and all that good stuff is at the bottom. I don't remember what it is. I want to say it's like Hay House or something? Or is that US Games? Lloyd? Llewellyn? Llewellyn. It should be right there. Is it Llewellyn? Llewellyn. You saw it. Supportive Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda, by Belinda Grace. Um, illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website on the back here, rockpoolpublishing.com.au, A as an Apple, U as an Umbrella. Freeze frame on that and check it out if you're interested. The dice I use, I use a 22-sided dice for the Major Arcana. I substitute 22 for 0 for the um, Fool. And then I use 14-sided dice for the Minor Arcana, and I use a 4-sided dice to choose the element. This is where they came from. Um, the dice shop and the website is mathartfun.com. Feel free to check that out if you are so interested. That being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. And with that out of the way, let's go on to your reading. Hello, Scorpio. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for when you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Scorpio? You got a good card, and you got like a, a card that's n showing non-movement. It's the um, Hanged Man. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say anything here is bad. Um, this feels like a maybe we should roll the dice situation. Something feels kind of stuck. I feel like you've kind of accepted that. If you have, there's a, obviously a reason for it. But. It's the King of Fire <laughs> and the uh, Star card. Which, the two of those together, the King of Fire, the King and Queen of Fire a lot, reminds me of Leo energy. The Star card reminds me of Aquarius energy. Those are like opposites. Those are like, they're both leader energies in different ways. Um, they tend to not get along. Um... I'm getting there could be this moment where we have a lot of energy. This is kind of like a full moon energy, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> this could be one of those moments where they're saying, you know what, it's gone the way it's gone for a while. It's been like, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of it here that I care about and I really like, but they're saying, I feel like the energy coming in is saying, it's something isn't quite right and we need to kind of shake this up a little bit. Um, it may seem like, I don't know, take it with a grain of salt, but I keep getting, like, things are stuck. And, um, it just doesn't feel right to me. It just feels like this isn't, way that, this isn't meant to be like this forever. And Scorpio is that ever-changing energy that can really shake it up, and they're kind of like, that's kind of why you're here. When it gets too stale, you're supposed to shake it up. Um... The Eight of Pentacles is working towards something, a lot of work being done. That's how I read it. Um, it's ironic. I don't read the Eight as a completion card. I read the, like, when the Nine energy is a completion energy, or the Death, or sometimes the uh, World card, stuff like that. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because I'm getting, like, maybe we're finishing something up, or we could be finishing something up to start something new, because... Even though there's a lot of care here, there's a lot of, like, 
things are going well, people are getting along. I don't know, I feel like such a devil's advocate here. I just feel... <laughs> um, even though it feels good and things seem good, I keep getting this energy here, like, things are stagnating. Things are not growing like they should. Um, things are not moving forward. There's evolution that's supposed to happen here, and it's kind of stagnating. Um, I'm getting that, like, overall, it looks good, but it's kind of like, yeah, but this is meant to do better. Um, it reminds me of, like, raising a child and believing their aptitude is only, like, you know, they won't ever... They're, not, they're, not, they're never going to be able to write a novel, but, you know, they can write a good couple paragraphs, maybe maybe a short story. But they're never going to have the ability to write a novel. And it's kind of like people accepting that. Like, all right, let's not push them to go any farther. Let's not encourage them too much because, you know, we don't want them to get disappointed. Versus kind of like, why not have them try to write that novel? Why not encourage them to do that? Let's see if they can do it. Because like, even, even though it might not be their whole goal in life to be a novelist, to have them go through that experience and help them through it and get them to the point where they actually wrote their own novel is something that they'll never forget and something they can realize that they can do things. And it might actually teach them that, you know, life has possibilities. Even if other people don't think you can do it, if you really try, you can do things. That's how this feels to me. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like raising a child that way. Kind of like, well, you know, you're lucky they can write a paragraph. If they can write a short story, I'd be surprised. And then you're like, you know what, Let's, let me see if I can get them to write a novel. Let me help them with it. Let me get them through it and then see if they can do it on their own. It will, it may not be, their, again, it may not be their life's work to do that. It may not be something they do through their whole life, but that moment could change everything and bring them to a whole nother level, at least, at the very least, to show them that, like, they can do things that other people doesn't don't believe they can. Um, could be something like that. So this, this situation, I feel like it's being stymied. I really do. And it's kind of like... This isn't really good for the situation, and it, people might think it is, but it's kind of like, no, we need to open that door. Literally, openness is showing up. We need to open that door and give the situation a chance to really prosper. Uh, this is another reason I'm seeing that. I'm seeing the Page of Pentacles, like somebody just believing, or the situation just kind of moving, in, like, this is the best we can do, so let's just accept it. This is the best it's going to be, so let's just accept it. And it's going well. It's not bad, but it's like, it could go so much better. There's so much more that could happen here. Um, I mean, you're Scorpio. Scorpio can connect to these deeper levels. That's one of the reasons you're here, again, to not only shake things up when they need to be, but to see possibilities that other people might not believe in. Um, Nine of Cups... I did. I just said that about the nine two, and it's you standing there with the nine, <laughs> and the possibilities with the seven of cups. Kind of like you know what? Maybe we uh, maybe we just kind of end how it's going right now and start something new, and give this situation a possibility. Um, okay, seems like you're naturally kind of going that way anyway, but we come up to this next situation. Possibilities are going to show up. Let's take a new road. We could keep, like, when I see the Two of Pentacles in this situation for this reading, we either keep going the road we know or we take a new one that we don't. That's kind of to make it really simple. Keep the one we know, go the one we don't. And there's a lot of possibilities for a lot of prosperity here. I don't feel like, I don't feel like the new road is a bad road, but sometimes people get used to what they're doing. Um, I feel like, for, if we're going to make it really simple, because I like baking analogies, it's kind of like somebody makes a really good strawberry pie. Keep making, they just keep making strawberry pie. And somebody's like, oh, you know what would be really awesome? A pumpkin pie. Still a pie, totally different. You got the spices, the way, to me it's totally different anyway. The way you got to prepare the filling and all that stuff. Um... Who knows? Even maybe the crust might be different. I don't know. But I don't feel like it's totally different. But it's like, if you are if you know how to make a strawberry pie, I feel like being able to make a pumpkin pie, like, totally, it's like how you prepare the pumpkin, how you, what you mix into it, the, the, all that stuff. You know what I mean? So, and maybe it's, you know what I mean? And somebody's going to be like, no, 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 I like strawberry. And I'm using strawberry purposely because personally I love strawberry pie, but I have relatives who love pumpkin. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's kind of like if I was, if I was to be with this option myself, I'd be like, oh, but I really like strawberry. 
And I could see somebody else saying, yeah, we've had that for the last 50 events. Can we try something different? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, especially because, you know, realizing other people might enjoy this more if we tried the pumpkin pie. And kind of like putting that out there, like, you know, we should really do that pumpkin pie. So it doesn't seem like it's the world's worst decision. Like, not for nothing, if the pumpkin pie doesn't go out the, the best this time, we can keep working at it and just keep making it better. It won't be the worst idea in the world. The challenge is to get past this. Somebody else... It's not a negative card. This is typically not a negative card. I do feel like this is somebody who could be like, yeah, but what are we risking by trying to make a pumpkin pie? Um... Somebody seems to be holding back. They're kind of like, listen, it's good enough the way it is. It's good enough the way it is. This energy, like... I don't know. There's something about this. That's, it does feel very... It's it's water card. Water card usually goes... Like, let me just... Because I got, like, that... I don't know. I'm getting this feeling. There's other Earth cards around her that are heavily influencing it, so I get that. But I'm not getting the openness I was expecting from this card, which is interesting. Um... Is that the one? So, the Magician Reversed is like, that's self, that can be very selfish. I'm trying not to say it. Uh, and then there's a success here. So, uh, this, okay, I'm glad I used the strawberry pie. It's like, for, so if I was this person, I'm Pisces, but still, it's a water sign. Um, so if I was going to be this person, I was going to be a brat. If I was just in my brat mood, if I was having one of those moods, and I like strawberry, and I was like, you know what, instead of doing that, maybe we'll just add a little, like, strudel on top of the strawberry pie. That way it's, uh, it, it's different. It's different. You know, I think that satisfies the change. That's me being selfish. I don't know why, but I feel like this energy feels like that right now. It's just kind of like, I don't want to do that. I want to do what I like, and I like what's already here. Um, so, it's kind of like what they're saying to do... So, for example, whatever this event is coming up, maybe we make X amount of pies and we share them or whatever. And every year for the last 50 times, it's been strawberry pie. The advice is to, like, to kind of work around this. Realize that people aren't going to like it. And just kind of, like, I feel like pie is the perfect analogy for this. I really do. So, like, there's an event coming up. You make X, upon a, X amount of pies to sell, to enjoy, whatever. We're going to say it's a bunch of them, but whatever that would be. Start making pumpkin pies yourself. And share them with other people. Like, oh, isn't this good? Can you imagine? Oh, and look, if we do this, the, you know, all these fresh... This one person over there, they have a garden. They always have way too many pumpkins. I bet you they'd sell us a bunch of them for cheaper. Who knows? Sometimes they just give them away anyway. We could get that so easily... And then we could get together and we could have a good day of it, making the pies and hanging out and, you know, having some drinks while we're learning how to make these new pies. Look, I already have a great recipe, blah, 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 blah. I found it here and we could even edit it a little bit and try some different things. Throw in, throw in that random energy. Realize that some people are not going to be open to it. Just do it anyway. You're Scorpio. <laughs> I know. I think this is so funny. Hopefully this reading comes across well. Oh my gosh, because I'm like, you're Scorpio. Just do what you want anyway. Like, right? <laughs> I don't know if it sounds... I don't know if how that sounds. I mean, I'll, I'll see it in the comments. Um, you know, I, I feel like this is a good start to just kind of like, hey, let's. I tried it out. Here, try this, try that. What do you all think? Hey, let's together. Let's have some drinks. Let's try like to develop a recipe. You're going to change the situation. Um, not everybody's going to like that you're doing that, but I feel like there's going to be enough people saying, you know what, we should do something different this year. That I feel like people are going to go along with it. I really do. I don't think it's that big of a deal. This is going to allow the situation to truly come to its full potential. Like, I get that circle energy in the center. Like, this could be a really great, wonderful thing, and you could bring in that energy for it. Um, it's going to change some things. Other people aren't going to like it, but not everybody's going to like it, but it is better for the situation. I get that with the Seven of Swords and the Acceptance, and I'm getting that in the sense of um, people just kind of walking away from it. Um, there could be a switch out of people who are involved. 
I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's okay. Like, it's going to be subjective to how you feel about it, of course. But, um... I don't feel like people are going to get in your way after this, but I feel like people might just kind of shy away from the situation for a while. Don't worry about it. They might. There might be something that they... There's other things maybe that they should be doing. Maybe the universe is trying to push them in a different direction because there's other places they'd be more utilized, better utilized. So I wouldn't feel bad about that. Because um, I'm getting the situation can actually hit that better note. Things can be a lot better here. Um, it's going to breed a lot more work. But it's going to breed a lot more benefit too. People are going to learn things that they didn't know they could learn. People are going to learn things and go into things that they just... It's just going to open up a whole new doors for other people, including you. This situation is meant to evolve, and it's stagnant at the moment is what I'm getting. So, I mean, clearly, if you're watching this reading and you don't like that, you don't want that, then you're not going to do that. So, there's nothing to worry about. But they're saying this, this situation is meant to evolve. And it's going to bring more work. It's going to be more benefit with it, too. I don't think of Scorpio as afraid of work, quite frankly, but... I feel like it'll work to your advantage. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.